Good evening. Uh, tonight we're going to do chicken parm. So we've got some chicken. We got our egg wash. We got flour, egg wash, and breadcrumbs. Some fresh basil, salt, pepper, avocado oil, parmesan, aged parmesan. Yes, no. We have fresh mozzarella. I have some linguine uh, spaghetti already cooked off. And I have my marinara ready to go. And we're using uh, panko breadcrumbs. These are actually gluten free. Um, try them out, you wouldn't know the difference. Yes, no, dinner's coming. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the chicken and we're going to season it. Salt and pepper. Now I already seasoned the breadcrumbs, so they have salt, pepper, oregano, some sage, and basil on there. And in Espanol, I said uh, chicken parmesan. Then I have pollo aquí, lo eche sal pimienta. I tried. Just mixing it up. Mezclarlo. Flour. Dust that off. Put that in the egg. Huevo. So one hand dry, one hand wet. Sticking together a little bit. Yeah. Bring the breadcrumbs. You don't need a lot of flour, so make sure you just dust it off. That's it. Press down the breadcrumbs so they stick. I'll go ahead and add a little more breadcrumbs. That looks like they use a little bit more in there. I want them coated well. A nice breading. I'm going to take this over with the oil. It was already hot. Add a little bit more oil. You don't want to put too much oil because you just want to pan fry it. You don't want to fry it. This one in here too. As the chicken cooks, it shrinks a little bit in the pan, so should be all right here. So you're gonna uh, cook it on low for a while, just to uh, probably about about five ten minutes to get a nice cold, golden brown on the bottom. And then we're gonna flip them over. 
As soon as we flip them over, we're going to put them in the oven so they can finish cooking slowly in there. I have a little water on the boil over here because we're going to heat up the pasta as we need it. Um, I just cook the pasta off because we all know how to cook pasta, right? Hopefully. Um, después que tener a todos los breadcrumbs, los pan, pan con encima de pollo, o sea, un sartén con aceite, este de pollo, eh, con más o menos como un cuarto de, de taza de aceite. Cocina como 5 minutos en un lado. Va a poner un color así. See a nice little color on the, on the top. We flip them over. Uh, we'll go ahead and. Okay, no, we're right there. We're going to go ahead and put that in the oven, set it at 350 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and for about 10 minutes. So, chicken can brown up on the bottom and cook all the way through, and we'll be right back. Okay, va 10 minutos, ¿no? 10 minutos. A 175 grados Celsius por 10 minutos. Okay, we're back. We got the chicken out of the oven. Chicken, you can tell, you can feel it was just about cooked through. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little tomato sauce over the top. Like so. We're going to leave one without sauce for my little friend Noah here. And then I'm going to put some fresh mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Some fresh parmesan over the top. I'm using a um, vegetable peeler to get nice chunks of this well aged parmesan. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put that back in the oven, just melt the cheese, finish it off with basil, and put it over some pasta. Okay, so we'll be right back. There's a chicken parm, nice and crusty bread in here. We have over here our fresh pasta. So we're gonna put a little marinara over the top. Chicken parm. Let's finish that off with a little fresh basil. There you have it. Chicken Parmesan. Thanks for stopping by. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Tell some friends. Let's all join. Thanks for coming by. See you soon. Okay, and a quick recap for our Spanish listener. Después que le ponen el pollo adentro del horno con la salsa y el queso, hasta el queso está caliente. Sacarlo, tiene una pasta, pone salsa encima, saca el pollo, pone encima y terminando con albahaca cortada. Y ahí está, chicken parmesan, pollo a la parmesana. Disfruta. <música>